Hi there, I'm Andrew Brown. Welcome to the series Real-Time Music and Sound with Pure Data. In this episode, we're going to be looking at uh, cutting up audio files. This kind of technique is reasonably common. Um, we often see an audio file like the one that's on the screen here um, and getting cut up into regular sections. This is typically done with uh, drum beats um, like the one displayed here, and that's what we're going to do today. So we're going to look at how we can evenly divide the uh, audio file into subsections and how we can reorganize those subsections um, in an interesting way. So to get started, we need to be able to uh, read an audio file in. So we're going to use um, an array to store the data. The size doesn't matter for now because we're going to use a resize command to do uh, make that whatever size we need it to be. Uh, let me just edit that. Okay. So there's our array. In order to um, read that in, we're going to use the sound filer object. The sound file object takes a command read. We use the resize flag to resize the array. Um, we're going to pass it uh, the file name to read and we need to tell it which array to write that data into. Uh, we can get the argument for this file name um, by using the open panel um, object which will allow us to search through files that are on our hard drive and we can use a bang to start the process. Uh, the sound filer will output the size of the uh, sample that's read in. Um, let's make that a little bigger because it's usually a fairly large number. Alright, eating everything up. So uh, we're going to do a fairly classic um, audio file cut up here. We're using the Amen break. This is a, um, uh, a sort of drum pattern which was performed by a band called the Winstons, or at least the drummer in the Winstons, um, in the late 1960s and was used extensively in the 1980s and 90s um, in this kind of sample based drum pattern style of activity we'll do today. So we click uh, open panel and uh, let me just navigate to that. Uh, where is it? I'm in break. Okay, so we've just read in our audio data there and this number here is the length of that sample or that recording in samples. Um, so we maybe just play that back before we worry about cutting it up. Um, the main object which is used to read back the data will be the tab read for tilde object and it takes the name of the array so it will read the data back out of that array. Um, that of course is passed to an uh, amplifier and then out to the DAC to play it back. Connect those up and provide a volume level control. Needs to go between 0 and 1. Give it a label just to be clear. Alright, so there we have it. Excellent. Um, so this tab read will read through that array. We need to provide it with. Um, um, values going from the beginning point to the end point um, and we would do that by using a v-line to provide a ramp to do that reading and the v-line needs to have a message passed to it which will pass in um, a number of lines we're going to use variables dollar one we're going to start uh, you specify a start, a start location 
then we're going to specify an end location and then finally we're going to specify a duration so there's two lines here the first line just jumps immediately to the start then the second uh, line will ramp from the start to the end um, over a certain period of time that we specify to get objects into that we need to use a pack object to get them into a list and that will be like that so now we need to pass um, the values in uh, for a start we'll just play back the entire file and then we'll worry about cutting it up in a second so we'll start um, at the beginning we'll end at the end and then in order to calculate um, the length of time that's going to take we will need to um, divide the length by 44.1 by the sample rate um, divided by a thousand because my sample rate at this at the moment is 44,100 um, and that's in samples but the time that we need for this number, um, third argument is in milliseconds so that should do us um, so let me just reopen the sound file and then break that will resend all of these values and then when we press zero that's our uh, arm in break the drum pattern okay so that's uh, all good and well so now let's move on to uh, the process that we need to segment it um, into smaller sections we've got coming out of our sound file are the entire length um, so clearly in order to segment it into sections we need to divide the full length by a certain number of um, segments I know I need to use this number for a couple of things so I'm going to use a trigger object so that when we read that in it specifies a few things the first thing we want to do um, is to organize the subdivisions so uh, the, what we really need to do is to basically divide the um, entire length of the sequence by the number of subdivisions I'm going to use variables for both of those things so input number two is going to be the length of the entire thing and then we can provide a number for the number of subdivisions and for now we can just look and see what that's going to be thank you right so if I just remove that now if I then change this to say have five subdivisions then this will be the length of each subdivision if I've got seven okay let's make that a bit bigger so we can see the numbers probably floating point yeah so any number of subdivisions in a sense can be managed in that way um, so that's going to be a math for creating the subdivisions it's typical um, in this style of um, sample editing that the subdivisions are a multiple of two so we divide it in half or in four by four divided by eight or by sixteen particularly when we're working in um, a simple time signature like this particular drum pattern is so we will use um, a number box to specify um, a, a subdivision uh, reference but in order that we always stick with divisions of two um, we will use an expression box to um, multiply to by that particular to the power of this um, input uh, sorry that should be an object box not a message box expression power two to the power of whatever we pass in okay there another box so we can see what that is so when we have 
Oops, let me change that so that it only goes between some reasonably sensible values. So with one, actually we probably do want to go to zero. So at zero, we have one segment, the entire file. Then at one, we get two segments. Then we can get eight segments, four segments, eight segments, 16, it's a bit hard to control here, 16 segments, 32, etc., etc. Um, so that's how we can um, adjust and we'll make sure we always get powers of two, which will be musically sensible. It is of course possible to do other segment sizes. Um, so you can do that if you wish. Okay, so now we've got um, our segment sizes. We need to be able to select those. Uh, so we've got our segment sizes, which is here. Um, we've got a selection of the number of segments there. Um, one way in which we would normally work with this cut up um, in a traditional kind of sense is to uh, basically randomly select these segments and then just reorder the um, cut-ups in different things so that's a fairly straightforward process so let's do that now we're going to use um, random to select and we need to pass the number of segments to random so it knows what to select from but we need that for another task as well so we'll use a trigger to pass that on to some other things so it goes into um, random so whenever we have bang, then we'll get, if we put a number box here, you'll see we'll get a random. Oops, once we do this, specify the number of sections, say 32, then every time we random, we're generating a random um, segment like so. Okay, so that's all good. Um, so now this is also, this segment thing is also, it needs to be sent to um, this expression, which is calculating the duration of each of those segments. So you'll see that as we change now the number of segments, the um, length of each segment calculation is also changed. Just creating a bit more space for myself. It's all getting a bit crowded um, in here. Okay, so what do we need to do next? So we've got a random number. We need to be able to then specify the start and the end times. So the start time is basically going to be the duration of any particular segment um, by the number of segments. So if this is the length of one segment and we want to start at the 10th segment, then we need to multiply that by 10. So we can use fairly straightforward multiplication there. So that means that needs to go in here. We need to multiply by 10, um, and that will be um, our starting point. Our ending point is going to be, in a sense, at the end of that time. So it would be the equivalent of um, uh, 11 times in rather than 10 times in. So we just want to play one. So let's do that. So if we just add one to this random number, that will give us um, 11. And then we can multi similarly multiply that 11 by the length of the segments. And that will give us our end time. So we've got our start time, and we've got our end time, and the um, duration um, of our thing will equal the segment length divided by the sample rate. So let me put a trigger in here such that um, our random number is first passed to the end to specify that um, before it goes here. That's more like it. Change the segments. All right. So now we're just chopping it up into small segments and playing each of them as we go. 
So the next step is to automate that process so I don't have to keep manually clicking it. Um, we can do that using a metro which will continuously trigger the outcome. Um, okay, I might move that down a little bit. Let's just go one. Uh, so that metronome now is going to do the random. The question is, well, what should be the speed of the metronome? Well, it actually needs to be the duration of our segment length, which comes out here. So we can pass that in there in terms of specifying the metronome time so that metronome goes every segment length. And when we recalculate that, this should be the whole file. And it repeats. And we can change the segment length. So now we've got it being broken into four segments, randomly choosing. Now it's creating 32 segments, randomly choosing any one of those 32 segments. Got 16 segments being selected now. Replace the metronome with the toggle so that I can actually turn it off. Alright, so there you have cutting up an audio file into different bits and randomly selecting those bits and playing it uh, continuously so you get this nice cut up audio effect in the style that we used to in the arm in break. Have a go at that and I'll see you in another video.